Hello, welcome, I'm Driels, <clears throat> and today we're going to talk about how to jungle. So, first off, we're going to just go into champions, and I'm just going to explain good champions to start out with when you just start the game, when you have little money and not much to spend. I'm going to show you those, and then we're going to just go on to the rest. So when you first start out, um... I recommend getting these champions. So, so first off, for junglers, I recommend for starting out getting these three champions or four. <coughs> yeah, these four champions. So I recommend getting for the this category, the really cheap 450 characters, I recommend getting Nunu and Warwick. Which one's better? Um, Nunu is definitely better than Warwick in any possible way, but if you really just want to play Warwick, you can. But I recommend getting Nunu, he's a better jungler. And then we go on to 1350, which is not that much more than 450. It's really easy to get 1350 coins. I recommend getting Amumu, <coughs> Amumu and Udyr. Um, I personally think Udyr is better, but if you like Amumu, go with Amumu. There's also Nash's. Nash's is as good as Udyr. So, Amumu is a little less good than Nash's and Udyr. U or Dare. I call it Udyr. So, those are those. So, these are two for the 1350 I recommend. And for the 450, I recommend Nunu. There's also Cho'Gath. Um, no one uses Cho'Gath right now, and he's not that good. So, and he doesn't he doesn't walk fast enough, and his mobility is kind of low. So yeah, so just I don't recommend Cho'Gath. So let's just start in a game. So first of all, I have this game. So I'm just going to move this over here, because I need to pull up something on Photoshop. This will be used to explain things. So, let's get into the game. So if you're on the left side, So I'm just gonna use Nunu because <coughs> that's the cheapest. Here we go. And he's ability power, so I got ability power runes and masteries. And I recommend you obviously get smite. That's an obvious. And for here, I'm gonna flash. So yeah, I recommend flash. Flash to get. As for that item, and so here is a look at the world. Okay, so we're in. So with Nunu, the first one, the first thing you should get is E, and then when you get the camp, you should get Q. So the first items you get is one of these, a few pots, not that many pots. I reckon getting one of these, two of these, to Summoner's Rift. and a trinket. It's there. And you go over to this area. You go over to... Hey, look at my face. But you go over to this area right here. This is red buff. And if you're on the red side, you start on blue buff. 
So, right now, here's a mouse. If you have buttons on your mouse, I'm going to tell you to do something right now. Press escape, go into in game, I mean, go into hotkeys, scroll down, and go into communication, and go into alert ping, and on my way ping. And so, alert ping, click, and then your mouse should have a back and forward button. The back button is the one closer to the front of the mouse, and the fo and I mean the forward button is the one closest to the front of the mouse, and the back button is closest to the back of the mouse. So for the alert pings, click the forward button, and for retreat pings, click the back button. So here is alert pings. They look like this, and here is warning pings. It signals to you go. You click on someone and it tells them the signals to be careful. And so when you're jungling, you go into this. You go from spawn over here, and then automatically before you get there, start doing this. You click your forward button and drag down for help. There's also on my way danger and enemy missing. So just click assist me and go get this camp. Your teammates will help you. You're too weak to get it. And right when you, it's under under 390 health, you uh, kill it. And then right when you, I recommend before, if you're playing a little bit more professional, you should come over here and just ward the enemies so maybe you can steal it. So just press 2 since that's what the number is on and click. And there you go. That is now warded. And now I also recommend going over to red buff and pressing 2 and clicking. And after you get red buff, you you either go back if you're too low and tr and then come to blue. And red buff will give you um burn damage, which means when you attack someone, they will burn which is really useful because then you can just attack them and walk away but blue buff this will give you um, extra mana and your cooldown on your abilities will be less so why would you why, so, uh, so when you're on red side you get blue first and when you're on blue side you get red first and then get blue why are you doing that? because that will lead you to top and top is the place you should gank and how you gank is you come over to your um, top laner, or mid laner, or bottom laner's um, grass in the river, and you come. But the only time you come is when the enemy is closer to your turret. If your guy is closer to the enemy turret, do not gank. If the enemy is close to your turret, gank. It's cold down there. So. So, so that's what you do. You don't want to. And and when you see this, when you see your um, top laner, or mid laner, or bottom laner, pinging this, that means you should go over to that area and try to help. Just click their front mouse button. I mean the front forward button and just go on my way and then come over there and help and also you can also gank when the enemy is um, a fourth of their health like one fourth house health and you should get a piece of paper right now because this is the only thing you have to memorize after you kill this this will spawn back in five minutes same with this one this one and this one. Once it's dead, it will respawn in five minutes. Just five minutes, it will respawn. And once you kill Baron, it will respawn in seven minutes. And once you kill Dragon, it will respawn in six minutes. And also, if the enemy is dead, you can help push turrets 
If the, if the enemy top laner is dead and your top laner is over here, you can help them attack the turret. And I recommend trying to steal the buffs. That's why I put wards there. So so when you get to there, you can check if the enemy has taken it and just steal it before he gets it. I'm on it. And I'm going to go back for a sec. What's the show I was talking about? So, when... Okay, so here's a turret, and here's a turret. So when the enemy, which is going to be red... Okay. So the en if the enemy is closer to the turret, and your guy's right here, you are going to be right here and come in to attack. When you don't attack is when your guy is right here and he's right here next to his turret unless unless his turret is gone and you are attacking from here. It applies to all lanes too. So if your guy's here enemies here you can you can go here or here and come into here and attack but if he's here and your guys here just don't attack and last but not least if your two bottom laners are here and the enemies here you can come in over here and help them but not if they're over here, unless the enemy is not here and you're pushing up turret, as I already explained, and you're here. So for items, the first item you should get is this, and then we go into here, and there's two what paths you can go when you get this item. You can get this, which upgrades to this, which I don't recommend. So you upgrade to Spirit Sight Stone, and then you upgrade one to one of these three. With Nuno, it tells you to get this. So get Spirit of the Spectrum, Spectral Wraith. So get this, and health pots and wards, and also get this for as your first item. And then as your second item, either get armor and a little bit of damage, or a full-on mobility power, which I recommend getting Rabadon's Death Cap second, or a Sunfire Cape. But your first item has to be this. Obviously, you always get boots. So get boots. <clears throat> yeah, so obviously you always get boots. So you just get those, whatever it recommends, but there you get you get after you get this, you get ruby you get spirit stone. You get spirit stone and then get one of these three. And it's usually in essential items and you it's right here, this one right here and you buy this first then buy that and then buy this and then after that you buy like this or this and always buy wards and place them here and here so you know when you can steal their buffs and also these other camps while you already got your buffs get them they give you health and they give you just gold you need to just like minions do and you should always get them and you only use your D when they're under f um, f f 390, 410 health. So your enemy jungler can't steal it. And that should be all. Thanks for watching this really helpful video. I'm Drew Hales, and goodbye.